Uh, we've got a whole bunch of shades. Kayla will show them to you. Um, you could use the angled brush for your blush. I think this would go really nice. $14.25. This is a big old pot of blush, my friend. Lots to go around here, Kayla. Yes, it will definitely last you a very, very long time. What makes it special? So the textures of these particular or sorry, as I'm like trying to swatch over here. Did I the, catch it too quick? <laughs> you did. I'm missing one shade, but don't worry, we'll get to it in a minute. And so um, these particular aura powder, oh my gosh, do you see how I swatch? You, I told Stacey I literally can't swatch in a straight line. You did great. There we go. Well, you look you like know. you look like all the girls' arms on the Instagram feed who are doing yeah, swatches, and they probably were spent time and drew lines and had oh tape. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is you organic. You just did that live guys. in like thirty seconds. Girl. Yes, all organic. There you go. Well, how about we walk through the shades first? I'll add in that last shade in just a minute, and then we can talk about kind of the importance of these Aura powder blushes. Perfect. So the first shade here is going to be Nymphea. Nymphea is going to be just a beautiful, subtle coral shade. This one here is Corderosa. This is definitely a fan favorite, fan favorite of many, many makeup artists as well. Gives just a beautiful, earthy, flush tone to the skin. This one here is called Lady Slipper, which is a beautiful, soft, opaque pink. Fan favorite again is called In the Saddle. This one here is gonna be more of a contour shade for most people. This is gonna be more of like a matte bronzing shade. And then, of course, our signature Sigma Pink, which is going to be a powerfully magenta pink shade. This is absolutely stunning on people that have darker, richer skin tones. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, I do want to show you this brand new shade to the assortment that we've added to BeautyIQ.com, which is Pet Name. And Pet Name is just going to be a very soft, beautiful, light pink. Almost like a peach shade, I would I say. I love that. So this that. is going to be great for my fair skin friends. So people like me, because it's going to give you just a really nice, beautiful sheen peach color payoff. Okay. Um, so what makes a blush, your blush, special? Yes. So one of the most fun parts of, well, besides the fact of how much product you're going to be getting at home, this particular powder blush almost feels, it's so velvety, it almost feels like a cream. And so it applies ever so effortlessly and it's very buildable. So a little product goes a long way, but if you feel like you're just not getting that enhanced, rich, bold pigment that you're looking for, add to it because of how buildable these, co you know, these colors are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the F84, which is featured inside that clean finish four piece collection, and I'm gonna take and swirl it into pet name. Now one key call out, these particular kabukis are very, very dense. And so a little product goes a long way. You don't need to swirl in the pan or you are literally gonna have so much blush on your face. <laughs> oh, and that's where we, we get that clown effect, right? And that's where you get a little bit of that clown effect, yes. So, and you know, if you feel like you didn't pick up enough, that's okay, it's a lot easier again to build than it is to take products away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start and angle my brush downward and kind of do a stippling motion to apply the product. Now, because this shade is so light, you can kind of start to see it, but I do want to add some more. And I'm just doing the stippling motions just to add the color to the cheeks and then go back and forth to blend the color out. Okay. Now, do you do you ever cheat and smile so you can find that apple? <laughs> I do. I do. And sometimes it just depends on how much blush I want on. Gotcha. But yeah, just a little bit of a smile or a little grin so you can start to see. Yeah. But this shade is very, very light. And so you can see it a little bit, but because I have a little bit of a darker complexion right now, I'm cheating. Spray tan, don't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's not showing up as much. So I actually, um, because of the buildability, let's mix and match a couple shades so we can get really just a nice, beautiful coverage. Well, that's what I liked. I just yeah. applied um, the Nymphia, and yeah. I loved how, because again, how dense the brush is. Right. Um, I only had to there put a go. little product on, but when I applied it to my cheek, I got a hint of color and I was like, you know what, I can do a little more. So I can right. go back as opposed to getting this harsh effect and then having to like wash it off and start from scratch. So it's going to be really nice. Right. And again, here's an Nymphia and I just put that on and this is my second application and it's still not too dark. Right. So, but it's really lovely on and it's a nice, again, matte finish and it just blends beautifully. Yes. And because you have the perfect you brush. Absolutely, and it just gives you like just a nice natural definition to the cheekbone and just gives you a little bit more of a youthful natural glow. So again, I used Pet Name 
on top of Corderosa, and I kind of just mix the two just to give this really subtle, beautiful blush shade. Mm, that looks pretty. Yeah. And um, what the in the saddle, which is more of your yes. like brownish tone. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Let's. If I can please. find it over here, here we go. Do you have? Okay. There we go. So in the saddle, this is going to be more of our matte bronzing shade, and I'm going to use the F40 Large Angled Contour Brush, which is featured on BeautyIQ.com as well, to apply. Um, with contour, you usually don't want as dense of a brush, just because of the fact that it, it you will get too heavy of a coverage right away. So you want a little bit of a fluffier brush head for contour, just so you can build out the product. Um, being in the industry five years ago, I had no idea what contouring was, had no idea how to do it. And so somebody taught me that if you take the handle of the brush, find the hollow of the cheekbone across this line is where you're actually going to place your contour. And that's a, different on everybody, but it was the best way for me to describe where your contour should be placed. And I'm just going to go back and forth back and forth and you go down that whole line yep i go down the line about midway to the cheekbone here oh okay so, so you can you actually see kind of a little bit of that definition just along that contour and contouring does cheekbone. what for us Kayla? it sculpts the face so it kind of just chisels and enhances more of your facial features and gives you more of that youthful Oh, I like that. It, it, it can really help um, build up a cheekbone if you don't have one. Um, contouring is great for that. Again, helping to thin out the face. Contouring is wonderful for that. So um, that brush number was F40, the large... Large angled contour. Okay. Yeah, uh, on... I know, long names. I know. Uh, and it's $14.25 for your blush. You have the six shades. You can always um, check back on beautyiq.com um, to look at those shades again. All right, so we've got our blush. Maybe did a little contouring. Definitely have set our eyes. Um, let's go to our lips. One of my favorite things, lipsticks. And if you're tired of your lipstick actually looking different on you than what's in the tube, you're going to absolutely want this. <laughs> this is Lose the Halo Lip Concealer. Looks like a normal concealer, right, that you would use under your eyes or for your blemishes, but made just for the lips. To make your lip color be truer to what you see in the tube, and also to stay longer on your lips. What's not to love about that? This is 15 bucks. Um, pretty cool, but you say this is definitely different than, you don't wanna just take a regular concealer and put that on your lips, Kayla. This is, this is different. Yes, okay. very, very different. And what's cool is there's really not anything like it on the market today. This lip concealer was designed to actually neutralize the pigment in your 